Greetings, and welcome to the NetFab simulation tutorial on the prediction of support structure failure. In this exercise, we use the overhanging part that appeared in the tutorial to predict recoder interference, but we add a support structure and then evaluate whether it is likely to fail during the build process. In particular, our objectives are as follows, to import a CAD geometry and supports, to apply support failure prediction, and to review the stress outputs. So in NetFab simulation, we start a new simulation and import the part. Then we import the support structure and we leave the volume fraction set to 1.0. Now, looking at this part with its support structure, the big question to consider is whether the support will be able to restrain the part from deformation or will it fail. Before solving, we go to the solver settings and on the analysis tab, select include support structure failure and set the support structure failure criteria to 500 megapascals. Then we click Solve and save the project in a suitable location with a descriptive name. And now we import the results. In the browser, ensure that the geometries are turned off and under results, turn on von Mises stress. Play through this build and you can see the areas where stress levels are at their highest. Now in the browser, turn on the structure type display and go to the end of the animation. Here we see that the blue color zero is used for the build plate. Color two represents the part, four is the support structure, and the red color five indicates failed support structures. So this display predicts failure along the critical interface between the part and the support. To see more detail, click View Logs and scroll to the end of the mechanical log. Here you see the number of warnings during the build, and if you scroll upward through the log file, you can find the exact timestamp for each warning. You can also click the Recoder Blade Interference tab to check the recoder clearance levels during the build, and they are certainly at high and safe levels, much above the limit of 20%. Because this exercise has shown clear evidence of support structure failure, we know that we would need to strengthen the support or redesign the part to avoid failure in an actual build. And just to summarize, in this exercise we learned how to predict support structure failure and view stress results and log files.